hello hello beautiful people what's up and welcome back to the diy channel so today we are going to be making a tote bag so these are the materials that i am using i have my outer fabric my fusible baiting or padding and then my inner fabric or lining so the dimensions of these three materials is 19 inches by 23 inches then to start off i'm going to be ironing my fusible baiting i actually this is actually my first time using um iron on baiting before i just ironed it on the way that i would normally iron interfacing but because it's quite thick i can only iron from the fabric side So here I had my I had my lining fabric then under my lining fabric I had my under my polycotton fabric I had my baiting and my outer fabric Basically there's three layers of fabric here then I now went on to the lining and then I made all those lines because I was going to go and actually sew on top of all those lines to basically kill So this is why I was going to go and stitch. After stitching, the other side looks like that. So after stitching, this is what it looks like and this is what the other side looks like. And then I now folded it in half. Then I went to the corners. And then I marked three inches. I marked three inch squares on the corners. And then I cut them away. Then I went to the top of, this is what I would make the top of the bag. And then I marked two inches from the corners. And then I drew those lines. Then I just pinned, then I cut the fabric away. So when I open it up, that is the shape that I have. That is our basic shape. So to prepare the tops of the bag now, where I'm going to put the zip, I use these little strips of fabric. They are, they are about three inches wide. And then the length is basically the same as those edges. And then so I would put the fabric on and then I would pin it like that. Then 
then I would go on and stitch after stitching I fold the fabric over and then I pin again and then I go back to the sewing machine and stitch So I'm basically creating sort of like a binding and closing that row edge. So there I had closed both row edges. Then I now went on to prepare my handles. Those are the dimensions, 4 inches by 20 inches. And then I ironed on interfacing on the handles and then I would fold the edges inside and then I would also fold it in half again. I did this for both handles. I also folded the ends of the handles so that there would be no raw edges. Then I now went on and I placed my handles onto the back using a ruler to just make sure that I am putting it where I'm supposed to be putting it. Then I pinned them down. After pinning down my handles, I went on to sew them on the sewing machine. So after I had attached my zip, I now cut off that extra long piece of zip that was still remaining.
and then I now went on to now work on the sides then I pinned the sides so what I do with this bag is the same method that I used on the top of the bag is the same method that I'll just be using here so after I pin my edges what I'll do is I'll take a strip of fabric then I use it as binding So there I was just placing the strips of fabric then I would go in and stitch on those parts. So after stitching that is what it looks like and then I fold over and then I pin. And then I go back and stitch. So the sides have been prepared. You can see like how neat they really look. You cannot see any, there's no threads, there's no raw edges. Everything is just tucked inside. Then I now went on to prepare the bottom. Then I just did the same thing that I did with the sides. Placing strips of fabric, stitching them, folding them over and then stitching again. So at that point I was done with the with all the edges of the bag. So this is how the inside of the bag looks like it looks very nice and neat then i now turned the bag inside out and that is basically it So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to be inspired by it to do more DIYs. If you have some fabric scraps laying around, I hope you're inspired to go and create something for yourself or for your loved one or to sell. I know some of you make these things to sell and I really, really am proud of you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video guys please continue to come back and watch more and please don't skip the ads bye